You know, you probably noticed a bit of green popping up in your yard. It's going to happen, people. Spring is coming. And gardening master Cisco Morris is here to help us spring clean our yards. Of course, we are so happy to see you this morning. Hello, Cisco. Hey, Auntie. Nice to see you, too. So exciting knowing spring's on its way, you know. We can just <laughs> feel it in the air and see it on the ground and on the buds. But what do we do with the dead looking stems that are currently on the plants? I mean, do we cut those to the ground? Yeah, you know, when you take a look at this back garden of mine now, these these are some rare and unusual plants that can't take much cold. So the cover's got to stay on until I see the weather forecast say it's going to stay warmer. But yeah, so, you know, you look around your garden, you see a lot of the perennials and plants that grew beautifully last year just look horrible right now. Yeah. So this is the time. And, you know, uh, Mary, if you could show a close up of this, I've got my camera person, Mary, here for me. <laughs> uh, I, I'm hoping you could see this new growth coming up down there. So once you see that, that is the sign. It's time. So I'm just going to go ahead and chop these little Belia little guys right down there. And me, mainly, I just want to get them out of the way so that it all looks better and, and uh, nothing's blocking the new growth from coming up. And, you know, oh, a lot of times you can just pull them off. So, yeah. What about already, what, boy? What, Cisco, what about like hydrangeas? I noticed at this year I didn't cut the, the blooms that had been wasted off, and now the rest of it's growing and those dead blooms are still there. Do I just cut them off and where do I cut them? So uh, with hydrangea, what you do is you, uh, when there's old blooms and they're just cut barely below where the old blooms are. Okay. But it's a good thing to do symmetrically cut about a third of the oldest, tallest stems right to the ground or, or where they come off another cane right by the ground. Okay. And if you do that, your, your hydrangea will be taller but it'll be thinner and more elegant, and every mm. flower will be twice as big. Ooh. So you'll love them. All right, that's great yeah. advice. What about a shrub that has leaves on it now? How do you know if you should cut it back? Yeah, so this this shrub right here is a phygelius. They call it Cape Fuchsia. Has beautiful flowers, golden foliage too. Beautiful flowers that hummingbirds just love. But it looks like gradu. That's a Wisconsin word for not good at all, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what I'm going to do, you know, now it's, it's probably best to cut somewhere where there's some leaves down there. Because uh, that way you're pretty safe. But, you know. So you're cutting I'm the ones gonna... that have leaves. Okay, that's interesting. I See, I would never yeah. have known to approach that with a shear. So that's good to know. Yeah, and, and the thing is, when they grow back, it'll be much thicker and prettier. All the growth will come from below. So, you know, instead of having this ugly stuff like that, mm -hmm. it'll just, it's going to just be this golden a uh, little package right here that's going to look so cool, you know. And because uh, this tree has red leaves when it finally leaves out, the combination, it makes the squirrels burst into tears in my garden, you know. <laughs> it makes the squirrels cry. <laughs> All right, Cisco, we only have about a minute left. Is there anything else we need to know about cleaning up our garden for spring? If you got any uh, ferns like this big fern right down there, Go ahead and cut all the fronds off. And uh, what it'll do, you want to do it right away. If you wait too long, what's going to happen is the new little fiddleheads will start to grow. So cut off all the old fronds. And when the new fronds come up, they will look gorgeous, just beautiful. Last thing I'll say, oops, if you've got a clematis like this. Mm -hmm. This is a clematis that blooms as it grows. So you want to just very gently 
Pull that sucker off there! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to be a clematis that uh, blooms as it grows in summer. If it's a spring blooming clematis, don't do this now, or you will get me bloomed. You know, so um, that's you, kind of important. Oh, Cisco, thank you so much. You made me snort. I love it when you cut the what do you call it? You cut the tweedle out of it. Um, oh yeah, the livid tweedle out of it. <laughs> we will talk with you so soon because this is the perfect time to talk about plants as we head into spring. So thank you, Cisco. Yeah, you betcha. See you, MT. Bye, everyone. And of course, if you have a question for Cisco, send us a text and he may answer it on air. He can, you can even send pictures or videos to the number on your screen, but be sure to tell us your name and the question and where you're from. That helps us um, when we are identifying you. So 206-448-4545.